you guys are gonna see. You guys will see the, the difference between like what it looks like when you fight Madarami normally and then when you like put challenges on it. He used Magaru, which is the opposite of good. Yep, there he goes. Bye bye. Hey everyone, Editor Tevin here. Uh, did you know that people that aren't subscribed to me aren't subscribed to me? <laughs> I know, it's crazy, right? Well, if you're liking the video, consider leaving a like. And if you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a video. Also, a big shout out to these Patreon supporters. If you want to help me and see these videos more frequently, please consider supporting me there. Thank you. But before we get into today's video, we actually have a sponsor. And not just any sponsor, baby. The sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends. Unless you were born yesterday, or 1926, then you probably already know about this legendary game. But let me tell you why I actually love it. This game has insane depth. With 500 champions, each with their own skills and ways to customize their equipment. For example, a few of my favorites are Foley the Dark Elf, Harvest Jack, and Vulpine the Undead Hound. Butter dog, the dog with the butter, butter dog, I want the butter. And if you get a champion you don't like, like, I don't know, Bandit here, you can head to the tavern and sacrifice him to level up another champion. And there's more, like the Artifact Forge, where you can craft artifacts directly. There's also a new advanced quest system with even better rewards, brand new champions, and coming soon, the Doom Tower. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description in the next 30 days, and if you're a new player, Braid will hook you up with 50,000 silver, 50 gems, an energy refill, a clan boss key, 5 mystery shards, a 1 day XP boost, and a free champion called the Hexweaver. She's an insanely strong champion, and an even better waifu. Just make sure to click the treasure chest in the next 30 days or you won't get all your stuff. A huge thanks to Raid for sponsoring me, and let's get into the video. But if I'm Adorame, we're gonna see how this goes. Now I need, I just need them to understand that they, they can only a attack certain things certain ways. Because if not, I'm gonna be in trouble. It's hell on Merciless. <laughs> yeah, Madarame on Merciless is a nightmare. Because in Vanilla, he was the easiest boss for me, like, ever. Honestly, I thought it was easier on Royal. That's insane to me. Maybe it's because, like, I never do it regularly. Because Madarame's with any sort of challenge added to it is difficult. You can't just spam Baton Pass when you don't have people to pass it to, you know what I mean? Like when I did Joke, I think it's Joker only Merciless that fucked me up so bad. Doing it regularly is easy as hell. I've never done it regularly. I've never beaten this game casually. Well, yeah, I have, but like it's always been on like Merciless and shit. You guys are gonna see. You guys will see the, the difference between like what it looks like when you fight Madarame normally and then when you like put challenges on it. Because now I have no control over it. We'll see. Alright, let's find out if they know how to do what to do. He's faster, which is not good at all. He did Rampage, which is actually what you're supposed to do. So I'm actually pretty impressed by that. He used Magaru, which is the opposite of good. It doesn't hurt too bad. Yeah, see? That's the dumb shit that I'm talking about. He might die off the cuff. His defense is down. That wasn't too bad of a move, I guess, but he won't heal himself. Why not just use Media? I don't know. Ain't dumb shit at least temporary? Yeah, once they find out the resistances, they stop. They stop doing it. Look, Yusuke's done something dumb twice in a row. It's because they, if, it's like this, look. If I hit L1, see how it shows the resistances and stuff like that across the screen? The, the, the AI goes from that, in that order, right? So it doesn't understand that fire won't work, electricity won't work, uh, all that other shit. So it's gonna just try doing it on every single eye. Like, it doesn't know what ice will do to this, so it'll do it anyway. 
Yeah, the AI isn't bad, but they'll test every resistance, which is bad. It is bad for bosses, especially this one, because they're going to get smoked. Yep, there he goes. Bye-bye. So this is a Persona 3 run, basically. Even worse, because I can't attack at all. So in this run, you're just playing a dating sim, basically. See, look at him. He's just going to keep doing it until he learns that there's nothing that he can do uh, on that. This seems like straight pain. It is. Is this even possible? Probably, but it's dumb. You just attacked? I just attacked? When did I attack? You hit the eye? Which eye? This eye, didn't I? There you go. Fixed it. Again, every single time somebody, uh, people wait for me to do one thing that is inconsequential to the run. Every single time. Oh, you did. Oh. My, make, makes me want to play the, this game. I've never played it this way. That's what I'm here for. I'm constantly doing dumb shit in dumb ways. Now we'll see if they really do it. I don't think, yeah, I think we're going to win this. Especially because we have Yusuke and knowing, Yusuke and Ryuji both knowing multi-hit physical moves, so they can just spam it. I'm surprised you haven't been spoiled by it, to it already. Who, why would you attack the ice thing if you were the ice man? You know what I'm saying? If you, if your magic was ice and there was like an ice being, why would you... I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. That's actually good. Yeah. This is good damage. I forgot how easy normal was. Good. These are all... They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. What's the difference between SMT and Persona? The way the game's played and the themes that come up into it. And Persona, it's more of a slice of life teenage thing where you um, have days of free time in between. In SMT, the story mode is a lot more linear, straight driven through. And uh, it is very heavy on the depression and like the, the, the sense of like dread that's constant. There's no like happier moments. It's just all sad. And we did it. Very simple. It was so simple. It was so simple that I was just kind of chilling. That was free. I might not have to grind levels at all. Okumura's fight is the one where it's going to be interesting because they're going to be stuck there for a while. So I don't even know. Entihu. Now we have a bunch of free time and we will be spending it on social stats. You got to learn the robot weaknesses before you meet them in the boss fight. True. That's a possibility. If they learn beforehand, then I have a legitimate chance. I don't know how eating a burger makes your charm go up. I've never seen somebody eat a big burger and be like, damn. What's up, big sexy? You eating that burger real fast. That's crazy. So, uh, what are you doing after this, you know? Y'all should start doing that. Start going to McDonald's and just staring at people while you eat hamburgers. And let me know how that works for you guys. I might take a day off tomorrow. I think three days is like my max. My max of hanging out with anybody. <laughs> three three streams is like where I start peaking and I start falling off and my content starts being whack. Alright. We got her, but there's nothing I can do. What's up? What's she doing? She on that freaky shit, bro. She talking about making a hair scarf. Look at her. Look at look how look at how he's looking at her. Look at how he's looking at her. He's like this bitch. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. <laughs> this is like that part of the game where um, I kind of breeze through it. You know what I mean? And it's just a matter of who you're talking to, especially in like this run, because I'm not gonna be doing anything else. Okay, one thing I have to say about this though is. Doc, she has not her 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 toe or uh, her shoes are open toed. 
as a doctor, that's like the that's like the worst thing you can do. Cause what if you drop a knife, bitch? You gonna cut yourself? What if you drop scary chemicals? You ain't living up to this doctor shit at all. You don't have pants on. She's not even wearing pants. She if she spills something or hit something on her leg, she gonna. She, that's an issue. That's a that's a health that's a health risk. But them legs, I don't care. I need proper safety precautions. Full stop. We can worry about all the sexy shit after you passed your safety exam. Safety is always first. Safety is always first, chat. Safety first, credit second, sexiness third. Okay, so I have a question here, right? I have a question. So when Joker's telling a story, remember that he's not ratting anybody out. So how is he telling these stories in between where he gets the confidants? And then my teacher was a maid. Oh. I mean, somebody who was a maid came in and helped me out. Uh, I don't know who it was, though. Boo-hoo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo-hoo. And we've done it. Ugh. Here come the cops.